conflict in Ukraine inadvertently exposing NATO's vulnerabilities. Mathematically, if you add up the known firepower of all NATO member countries, the alliance should theoretically be able to top any foe in direct armed conflict. But their Ukraine adventure suggests that the reality could be a lot messier. The European Union chief diplomat Joseph Borrell has said that if a similar conflict to the one in Ukraine broke out in the EU, its member states would only have enough ammunition for two weeks. Meanwhile, Washington's Center for Strategic and International Studies asked in April whether America's supply of Javelin missiles for Ukraine would run out before Russia ran out of tanks. According to the White House fact sheet, the United States has provided 2,000 stingers to the Ukrainians. The United States has sent about a quarter of its inventory to Ukraine. The bottom line is that the Russians are not going to run out of armored vehicles anytime soon. Forbes has also pointed out that Ukraine's demand for American Stinger and Javelin missiles is outstripping their production. NATO might think it has a great strategy for direct confrontation with Russia, but poor logistics can ruin everything. Production of weapons can take years to ramp up, Western experts say, and weapon stockpiles aren't just sitting around waiting for a full-scale war to break out. They also point out that superiority of Russia's air defense systems would pose a major threat to NATO pilots in a head-to-head -head matchup. Meanwhile, NATO member countries can't even agree on a common roadmap for Ukraine. France and Germany seem to be increasingly angling for an exit ramp, while nations on NATO's eastern flank are pushing for more fighting. U.S. President Joe Biden has said that the United States and its allies will defend every inch of territory of NATO countries with the full force of our collective power. And as I've made crystal clear, the United States and our allies will defend every inch of territory that is NATO territory with the full force of our collective power, every single inch. But just how much of that is bluster? Let's just hope that no one ever has to find out.